Here in the mountains, they have the biggest species of honeybee in the world. The giant cliff bee. Their hives are built high up on the exposed rock. On this one cliff alone, there are over two million bees. Workers returning to the nest, laden with nectar and pollen, tell other members of the hive where they've found their food by performing what is known as a waggle dance. The directions are coded in the dancer's body positions. And whilst the observers follow the tip-off, the returning bee must make its way into the hive to deliver its precious cargo. Not always an easy task. Because the hive is fully exposed, the only way the bees can defend it is with their bodies. They line up several rows deep to form a defensive shield. It is all for a good reason. Hornets. Voracious predators, they are here to hunt bees. Separated from the rest of the hive, a single bee doesn't last very long. The hornets cruise around the hive, hoping to strike unsuspecting bees. But the guarding bees have a defense strategy. As soon as one bee realizes a hornet is approaching, they lift their abdomen up in a threat display. The alarm ripples through the colony, creating a Mexican wave. This coordinated visual display shows the hornet that it's dealing with an army rather than a single soldier. It's enough to blur out the individual and stops the hornet from attacking. It's not just hornets that are interested in these giant bees. For the people of the Himalayas, hidden in the hive is nature's superfood, honey. In India's neighbor, Nepal, they use smoke to help them access it. Believing there to be a forest fire, the bees start to evacuate the hive. With the bees leaving, the next problem is getting to the hive. Suspended 50 meters off the ground, wearing no gloves or shoes, the honey collector descends into swarms of angry bees. He has to remove the lower part of the hive, where the larvae are, to get access to the honey-rich top. Now, balancing a basket on the end of a pole with his feet, he collects the honey. It's a feat of dexterity and a feast for the villagers. Though one hive has been destroyed, the honey hunters make sure there are many left unharmed to carry on the population. <laughs> <laughs> 